In this video, I will be looking into the DNA fingerprint analysis involved in the homicide case of Walter White. Walter White was a high school chemistry teacher turned meth manufacturer after being diagnosed with terminal cancer. Walter was found dead in the middle of the New Mexico desert just outside of Albuquerque. He was killed by a gunshot wound. The murder weapon was found close to the scene. Four suspects close to the victim were taken in for DNA sampling and questioning. First was Walter's wife, Skylar White. It was known that Walter and Skylar were having marital problems as Skylar confessed to cheating on Walter with her boss. She did not want Walter to find out. The second person interrogated was Walter's son, Flynn. Flynn confessed to recently finding out about his father's drug activity and confronting him about it, but he denies that anything else took place. The third person interviewed was Jesse Pinkman, Walter's accomplice and former student. Pinkman always felt controlled by Walter and wanted out of the drug business. The final person interviewed was Gus Fring, a small business owner as far as the police knew, but in reality, he was Walt's meth di distributor. Two samples were collected from the scene, one from Walter's clothing and one from the murder weapon. The samples were then amplified at two different VNTR loci and ran through separate gels to create a DNA fingerprint of the suspects and Walt. Looking at the gels produced from the suspect's DNA and the samples found at the scene, we can uncover who committed this murder. We can see that the sample one matches with the DNA samples from Walter and Jesse at the first VNTR loci and matches with the samples from Walter and Flynn on the second VNTR loci. This means that Walter is responsible for the DNA found on sample one. This makes sense as the sample was found on Walter's clothing and both of Walter's alleles match the sample one at both loci. To identify the killer, we will look at the second sample as it was found on the murder weapon. The first VNTR loci for sample two matches with both Skylar and Gus. The second loci matches with both Gus and Flynn. Since Gus was the only suspect that matched both alleles to sample two at both loci, we can conclude that he is guilty for the murder of Walter White. Aside from the investigation, we can conclude that Flynn White was in fact the son of Skylar and Walter White, as further analysis is done on the DNA fingerprints. Flynn received one allele from his mother and one allele from his father at both loci, allowing the forensics team to conclude that Walter and Skylar were the biological parents to Flynn.